Okay, here we are again. Uh, this is my summer uh, setup video. Um, I am moving into personal size. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to find this, um, but I kind of got inspired and it just happened. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, grab a coffee, join me. I've got an adventurously large coffee today. So I'm going to try and drink at least some of that. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot my sweetener. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to talk you through it. Um, I'm hoping this time not to make it like a three hour epic. So instead, um, and a bit of a change, look, it's already full. Can you see that? So I'm going to give you a bit more of a, um, like a flip through. Um, I say that I have literally like just this morning um, finished setting it up so it's not filled in it is very much before the pen um, you can tell that because my handwriting is terrible and I haven't slid it yet um, so here we go right so it's summer so here we go this is my um, summer look molding um, so uh, if you've seen my other videos you know by now that I do quite like um, the Filofax Moldens. So this is an ochre um, colour in it. I've got the same in A5. Um, the one that I used last, well before the vendor spec, was um, a stone one. I moved from personal to um, A6. Um, hang on, let me just show you. Um, this was my A6 and do you know what? Oh my god. Oh, sorry. This is the one where I thought I'd get the camera shake fixed, but clearly I haven't. Um, I just loved this planner. It's been so nice. Um, I've used it loads, but do you know what I was doing? It got to a point when um, I thought that I kind of tweak with the layouts a little bit. Um, and it got to the point where I just thought, do you know what? Like, I think I might give personal another try because it kind of got a little bit too cluttered, even for me. Look how chunky this one is. Oh my God, this is such a little chunk. Look at that. That is nice. Um, but I thought I'd kind of start from scratch and play around with some layouts because I was toying around with the idea of having um, a, what I call a daily double. So um, a double page spread for a day. But I thought, well, actually that might work quite well in personal because the problem I had with personal, um, I know some of you have said the same sort of thing on Facebook, that it doesn't give you that much size. It's like a bit narrow. So most of the stuff in here that I've done um, I've tried to use a whole double page spread um, to try and make it a bit easier. Um, I do love making lists, so I've tried to incorporate that as much as I can um, in this kind of thing too. So here we go. Right, okay. Hang on, I can hear the dreaded call of mum. Hang on, I'm going to pause the video. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> I have a four year old. <laughs> so anyway, where was I? Um, so I wanted this to be like a whole summer kind of vibe, like the sort of thing where you could imagine going somewhere beachy and it's all kind of like green and grassy and palm trees and oh my God, I would just really love a holiday. Anyway, um, so it's a little bit different and I've added this time. Um, can you see this? This is uh, a crystal cover because I was a bit worried about um, the zips on the molden. Oh my God, now my cat's meowing. <laughs> I'm just gonna power through. So I was a bit worried about the zip on the molden damaging the cover. Um, I thought well, actually like, I quite like it with the, the shiny layer on it. And it's also a nice little layer if you ever wanna like stick anything underneath so you can see through it. So I've got a cover on this time. Um, I've got my inbox dashboard um, and again um, if you've seen any of my videos you'll know by now that like this is just for me like an essential part of every planner that I've got it's the bit at the front where you write stuff temporarily or you um, if you haven't got time to find the right page or you haven't set up like the dates on the page or anything that's where it goes. I quite like having an add to planner section in there so I know that these are the things I actually need to transfer. Um, or if I'm working on something to do like in my notes section or something, I might just move it into the inbox if I'm working on it, just so like I don't forget it. Um, so this is my inbox section and in here, um, I've just got, um, oops, sorry, pocket. Um, I've just got a little 
um, journal card in this front pocket now, just like a little bit of colour. Um, and oh my god, you just wouldn't like to be there, huh? Um, so I just have some plain note paper, lots of it. Um, with these, I've been doing a lot of these just lately. Um, I quite like leaving them blank because I think it's just kind of like a heading space if you're making notes, but I can just as easily write add to planner in there. Um, these um, grid layouts as well, I think, are just super functional because if I want to have um, like a different kind of layout, I just take a black pen and just, you know, draw columns or section it up or something. They just, I just really like them. Um, so that's it in the first bit. I thought I'd label a few pages at the front with add to planner um, so I can separate them out. Um, and then a little bit uh, later through, I've got some of my revised um, brain dump inserts. Um, so if you've um, I might use this before, I really like these because I kind of like fill in each line with literally anything, like a date that you don't want to forget, something that's just popped into your head, like a long term idea, um, a random like, oh, I need to watch that series on Netflix kind of thing anything um and you just keep listing it down um until your head is empty do you ever get to that point where you've just got so much mental clutter you just can't really function please say that's not just me um and then what you do um and i've tweaked this one a little bit so what i then do when i've got everything just splattered out on paper um i tick off whether it's to be done today um this week um, to schedule it for a different day, um, hopefully to delegate my personal favourite. Um, or I've added on there now to archive. I'll come back to that in a bit. I'm quite liking the idea of an archive. I'll tell you about it later. Um, so I've just got a few of these sheets in the back. Now what I'm going to do, um, first of all, I'm going to put a little journal card in here. Just so I know where these start. Um, and also, who doesn't need a few more palm trees in their life, huh? Um, so we'll just keep that there. Um, so I've then got my daily section. Now, I have really been agonising over um, the sections I was going to have in this. It's like, I feel like it's a big commitment. I <laughs> quite like my dividers printed. But for someone who changes their mind as much as I do, oh my God, that's like, that's a nerve wracking decision. <laughs> because you just know they're going to be wrong. Um, but I figured anyway, like I know we're all searching for planner piece, but I think you should change your planner setup as often as you change your bed clothes. You know, like you just kind of get bored or you realise something isn't working. And just face it, setting these up is so much fun. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, just start again, set it up. Anyway, so this is my daily section. Now, um, we are in lockdown in the UK still. Our life is kind of coming back a little bit. We're allowed to leave the house. <laughs> um, places are starting to open. I have a hair appointment booked. Oh my God. Um, but it still feels a little bit like every day is a bit random. So um, I don't feel I've got my daily routine as much. It's more like a let's just wake up and see what today throws at me kind of scenario. So um, this is, um, well, that's the back page of one. Um, this is, I like the stickies. Anyway, I'll get there in a minute. So this is my favourite daily layout. I am in love with this. So again, blank headings. So if I change my mind, I'm all right. They're still useful. Um, so I've got a space for the day at the top. This bit here I was going to have as my schedule, maybe. Um, so I was going to have like a a.m. p.m. evening um, and either use these for... Um, times we we'll use them for tasks but to be fair really I if you were doing like some sort of food tracking you could have this as your um, food planner and like add like points down the side or anything um, so I've got lots of random note space I love um, <laughs> I love thanks to having such amazing people on Etsy who just give me these great ideas um, I love now having a plain notes page opposite um my my main stuff just so i can kind of blurt stuff out on paper it's brilliant i am a convert um someone in the shop was like can you just do me like a lined page please and i'm like yeah that's great so i tried it and i'm like oh my god that's amazing um <laughs> so useful anyway um so i have um a note section on here 
so not a notes section, a task section on here. Um, and then I was actually going to use this bit as my meal planner. But to be fair, really, with all those sections, you could use it for anything. Or again, you could just draw an extra line down there and use it to make loads of lists on or whatever. Um, so I quite like this. I like the idea with daily planning. If you've just got a bit of a full day, just taking a minute to just stop and go, right, okay, what am I doing? How am I feeling? What am I eating today? What have I got to get done today? Or what am I just totally going to put off today? Um, or even the day before doing it at night, so you wake up in the morning and your day is there. But daily planning, I think, gives you that extra level of detail that you just need sometimes, I think, when it just all gets a bit busy. Um, so I've got loads of those. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using those. Um, I bet any money by the time I've got to the end of these my headings will have changed from when they are at the beginning you see this is why I go blank so I've got um, an extra pocket folder in here um, just in case I've got bits and pieces I want to hold on to um, and then I've got my weekly section so my weekly section then um, I kind of want an overview of my week but I don't need a huge amount of space um, but more than I think I had in my original A6 layers if I just show you um let's find where i started oh my god this little guy is so full oh i just love this little guy um so my week in the beginning like i didn't have very much space because i really didn't have an awful lot on um it was really really brief look at my terrible writing um and then i just thought well actually no i think i need a little bit more space now life is getting back a little bit um so um, oh, I'll come on to this in a minute. So I've got my um, my washi on a little, um, it's the same stuff as I make my thick um, planner covers out of. I quite like these for, for the back so your pages don't all curl. But it doubles up as well as a really useful washi holder that's not quite so bulky as my other ones. Um, and obviously there had to be some um, dot stickers. In fact, I'm going to sidetrack for a minute. Look at this. This is terrible. So. I knew I needed dot stickers, but I'm so indecisive. I made some dot stickers. It's like, yeah, I've made some dot stickers. And I thought, I don't like these dot stickers. So then I made some more dot stickers. And then I thought, eh, I don't think I want to use those dot stickers. So now I have these. These, ah, oh. <laughs> these go, it has to match. If it doesn't match, I just, I, I just can't take it. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably a name for that. Um, anyway, so this is my ideal week look. I'm so excited to use this. This was like my main motivation to film today. I thought, right, if I can film, I can fill it in. Yes, let's get the filming done. So this is my week and I quite like, um, I've got like an extended week layout at the moment that I do. Um, that's got like a series of columns for each day going across. I think actually I'm an across person rather than a vertical person across. There's a name for that too, isn't there? Horizontal. I think I'm a horizontal planner um, rather than a vertical, but I don't like writing across the page. <laughs> Does that make sense? I kind of like writing little bits across the page. That probably just makes me weird. Um, but I really like this layout anyway. Um, so I have headings. Again, that I'm probably going to change, so I left them blank, um, for every day. Um, and then notes, space, tasks, random stuff, random stuff, random stuff, habits and random stuff. Um, so I was thinking I might use this for like a goal or like a um, focus for the week or like a reminder to myself for the week. Um, and probably use some of these for like food or tasks or appointments, random like the brain dump area. Um, and then this, I think I'll do like, like put off till next week or you know, that kind of thing. Um, so you probably noticed, look, there's a little blank pocket. Mm, it's not like me, is it? So, um, I was making these look. Can we just take a minute to just appreciate how small and cute these are? They're so small and cute. Look at that. Oh, see, this is a sign that life is getting back to normal a little bit. I just thought I had to celebrate it with some stickers because we are allowed to get a coffee. We're allowed to have a social distance meal. Well, yeah. <laughs> Birthdays. It's my birthday on Tuesday. I just needed some birthday stickers and hair, hair appointments. They're happening. Um, so what I was thinking, I thought we were made really, really tiny. Um, then 
to be fair, you never need like too much of the one type of sticker. I mean, like seriously, how many hair appointments can you have? <laughs> you probably get away with that. I will probably get away with that. That'll probably last me like three years. Anyway, so there are some dates, I think, that you wanna mark weekly and some that you wanna mark monthly. So coffee, yeah, I don't plan out my coffees at the start of the month. <laughs> like my coffee dates kind of happen um again meals out again probably tend to just happen so i think these are my weeklies whereas these are my monthlies and they're like repeat prescriptions medical appointments um birthdays or occasions and haircuts monthly so i made these oh look this is just you think this is also coincidental but it's not look at that look at that oh i made it to fit so, um, well, you think I'd make it to fit, but it helps if you have them in the same place when you put them in. There we go. So I'm going to keep those in there um, because they look cute. Um, and then they're there for when I need them for my planning. I quite like, um, quite like to use, oh, I've just my coffee, hang on. Um, I like the idea, oh my God, I need to put spinners in next time. Um, I quite like the idea of using stickers but I'd never be bothered to, and I'm normally too busy to. Um, but I figured that if I just have them where they're really visible, like with washi tape for like marking off days and stuff, if it's really visible, and I'm gonna worry about, you know, picking it out and God knows what, if it's all here and it's all matched and it's all there, um, it's a bit easier to use, isn't it? So here then I've got my calendar one, and again, another little one. Um, birthday on the front because this week is birthday week yes i'm having a week i'm old enough it's my right damn it um so i want to put my little stickers in there um there's like a handy size though because they fit really nicely in like planner pockets and stuff but i like mine coordinated <laughs> so that just can't happen um so what we've got here then um oh i have a new order thank you very much um so more washi tape, more dots, and here, ah, oh, you see, I quite like this one too. This one happened because um, I was toying around with the idea of a three week planner in here because I just couldn't for the life of me figure out where I was supposed to be. Um, and because now you start to get like dates back in your diary and like work starts to happen, and then he's like, hang on wait, what week is that? What am I doing? Um, and then I realised that actually, just a calendar section again, I didn't have a calendar section in here. I literally just had um, notes, weekly food and personal because it was the start of lockdown. There wasn't much. This, I think, is, is a bit better for now. Um, so I can write at the start of each one of these like what I've got um, to focus on that week. This week is clearly going to be birthday week yes um but i can also mark off um like events or like um important things i've got to do or I can even have like a couple of tasks for the month um just to write those little icon stickers and again anything useful like um next month or recurring tasks or anything like that i can just add to that so i've got loads of those um undated um because i just really hate doing dated stuff it's just oh oh printing it's it's no no um i hate writing the numbers in don't get me wrong but at least this way with cute little colored in squares it'll feel more like a fun activity um so we have another folder oh some coordinated stickies look stickies i do love my stickies um and then we've got our food section so i really have to get to grips with meal planning again now we can actually get out to the shops a bit easier and like eat regular food because we can get it um like pasta oh i've missed pasta um so my food planner my last one i got it all on one page and it was making me feel like personal size was too narrow but now if it's on two pages all of a sudden there's not so narrow um so i've got a row no that's a column a column here for my breakfasts um lunch and dinners um might have like a food goals or things that have got to be used up or you know like don't forget this is in the freezer kind of stuff and then a space for a shopping list down there um i think that's going to be pretty useful um and then i've got my notes section which surprisingly is note paper um can you hear my cat 
Oh dear, he doesn't like being shot out. Um, it's like my little shadow. Um, and then another folder just in case. Um, more stickies. And then my archive, which is blank. So, archive. I keep seeing people ask um, on Facebook, you know, what does everyone do with their pages that you haven't, uh, that you've used? Like, do you just chuck them or keep them or whatever? Sometimes I like to look back and sometimes, you know, when you just make little like notes and reminders and you haven't acted on them, but you don't actually know what there is. I quite like seeing what there is, but I don't want all the clutter to get to the page I'm actually on. So if it's like recently finished with, um, not all the time, but if it's getting to that point where it's a little bit chunky and a little bit just cumbersome, I'll move it to the back. As well as that, um, archive, um, for me, an archive section is where you would put your spares for things too. So um, I have tend to, as you can see, really stuff my planners. Um, so sometimes i move out a load of the spare pages so i mean like my brain dumps for example um i've got a fair few in there but in reality i might use one like one side like every other week maybe um so i'll probably keep them um here as well i've got it organized with some of my um clear dividers so i've got a section for um stuff that I'm not using anymore or like a different um, bit for some of my spares or as well as that, notes. Um, I kind of like to just have a clean notes bit and if it's something important that you've written down, well then it should be stored rather than like a notebook. So again, that's kind of like my archive section. I know if it's in there, it's important. So it's kind of the opposite of an inbox. So an inbox would be where you scribble stuff down because it's temporary and it's never going to stay there for long. Archive is the, okay, yeah, but that was important. I want to keep that. So um, I'm just starting this. When I was <laughs> when I was thinking about my dividers, I really wanted to have six and I could only think of five. <laughs> um, so, hmm, what else can I put in there? So and I just thought like, just, oh yeah, random place to store stuff, but you can't fit that on a tab. Um, but I thought archive sounded quite fancy. So there we go. It's a planner archive. It's a thing. Um, anyway, <laughs> so in the back of here, I've got another card. Um, if you can see that this is kind of wonky, this is an AliExpress special, but I cut that off. <laughs> I want to do it sideways. So you can tell because it's wonky. Um, and I've got here at the back um, a little folder of stickers just in case I ever get the chance to. And they're just so pretty. One day I'll get around to doing it. But again, like, I've got so many stickers, but I never actually think to get them out. But at least the ones that made it into here are the ones that are coordinated. So I feel that I can use any of these and not have to think about it too much. So like, I'll be randomly jotting stuff down. I can bet I can pick out a random sticker and, like, and it'll look good. Look. There you go, look, that's gonna match. How good is that, huh? <laughs> you see, plenty of these pages and it would match nicely. So that's kind of the point of that one. All right, in you go. You may never get used, never mind. So yeah, that's what we got. Um, so I'm fairly crammed with stuff at the moment. I've also got some um, little bookmarks. Um, I went a little bit crazy with the Mod Podge, so <laughs> they're a little bit spotty. Um, but I was going to use these um, literally just to mark off like what day I'm on. Um, <laughs> you know it's bad when you need something to tell you what day it is. Like, oh my god, what day of the week is it? Um, so they're literally just going to go in there like that. But I just really love these colours. Um, so I'm going to put each of these in one of these sections just randomly because when I stop filming, I'm going to have a ball with my leftover coffee that I will have microwaved and add sweetness to. And my new pen that actually, look at this, that actually fits in there oh, because the molding loops super narrow. And it's gonna be great. Look at that. Oh, I'm so looking forward to using this. Um, I'll probably have to give in there and let my little girl and my cat in. So <laughs> it's not gonna be quite as beautiful as I would like. So. Okay, I just love how they look at the bottom. Look at that, just like a little tufty bit. Um, I also um, I went a bit crazy with the journal cards, so I made some summer sets 
like I said, I was so indecisive. Um, I just wanted something to remind me of holiday and oh, that just really reminds me of holiday and just seeing little like cats run in the streets everywhere. Oh, lovely. Um, and again, I just, I'm really enjoying my colours and, but I just went with the green. I think the green is nice. Anyway, there you go. I think that's it. I think that's covered it. I think that's all of the stuff in there. In here I just have um, some more cards and bits and pieces again. Kind of like the same sort of um, same sort of vibe. But there you go. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. The big question is, can I use this instead of A6 and still love it? Because my A6 fan is back. Oh my god, I really do. Can I just say one thing? One thing that this is missing. Why I put in all those pockets. But look. Oh, look at that pocket. That is everything, isn't it, really? Um, which you don't get. Sorry about the shake. Which you don't get on this. But you do get, interestingly, um, the pocket version. Look at this. On the pocket version, you get a pocket. But no pocket version on this size. Which breaks my heart, but never mind. So there you go. That's what I've got. I think this is another epic. What are we on? 23 minutes. Sorry. Um, so, well, actually, no, it's a bit more, isn't it? Anyway, mm, forget it. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that, um, my little ramble through my planner. Um, if you like what you've seen, then uh, hit the like button. It tells me what you want me to make more of. I think personal is quite a popular size. Um, I think a lot of people tend to have this one. Um, so yeah, please comment and say hello. I love speaking to you guys. It's really nice. Um, and also, if you know any of the Planner Geeks, share the love. Um, point them at my channel. Make me feel like I'm not alone um, in my obsession with this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. There's loads more coming up. Um, I am working on, oh my God, so many things at the moment. So watch the shop because basically there's going to be all of the things that didn't make it into this one um, going into there. Otherwise, I can't really justify spending all of my weekend <laughs> making planner supplies. Anyway, I hope you're all well and staying safe and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye.